Hi, I'm Jim. And I'm Chris. And we're Geeks on Tour. And this is Odie, also known as... Data Boy. <laughs> Mrs. Geek, Mr. Geek, Data Boy. Data, get it? We're coming to you from Saras Saratoga, Wyoming. On the banks of the North Platte River at 7,000 feet. And I am in heaven. There's a hot springs here and a fish hatchery. What good is that? <laughs> well, fish hatcheries are the neatest places, and we haven't been to near enough of them. We found it by using Streets and Trips, Microsoft Streets and Trips program that help us plan our route as we travel. So computers don't always take you away from the outdoors. Sometimes they get you to the right places. Streets and Trips is how we plan our trips, and there's a special thing called push pin sets. And it has lots of data built right in, but if you want to find something special, like hot springs, you can download a push pin set. Or we actually download a, se a set of sets called the Megafile. Our videos on our website show you how to do it. Just go to geeksontour.com and click on GPS navigation on the left side. There's a couple of free ones. For, to watch them all, you will need to be a member. But it's, it's cool. I wonder if there's a push pin set on fish hatcheries. We'll have to look. <laughs> the other thing we always like to teach as we travel around, you have to know how to connect to the internet. If you need the internet, there might be problems. <laughs> how no, are we connecting here? No Verizon here. In our last Gabbing with the Geeks, we showed how to connect tethering with the droid, but voice is fine, no data here in Saratoga, Wyoming. So, what do we do? We have Wi-Fi. In fact, that pushpin set gives us Wi-Fi RV parks, so we know that this park has Wi-Fi. But where we're parked, it's not so strong. So what you need to do... You know what? Actually, it's like a little bit better outside. Well, that's, that's interesting, isn't That's it? pretty normal, I think. When you're inside one of these metal boxes, the built-ins don't work so well. That's why we recommend getting an external Wi-Fi adapter. And we like a USB Wi-Fi adapter. This is a Hawking and it connects with a USB cable. goes right into the computer. Remember to turn off your built-in Wi-Fi adapter so there's no interference between the built-in and the external. If you know where the access point is with these, you can point it towards the antenna and get the very best signal. Now, when he's talking about turning off the internal, people mistakenly call these boosters. They don't boost what you already have built in. They replace it. So that's why you want to turn off. It would be like having a phone to each ear. So you want the computer to not get confused. Turn off your internal when you hook up one of those. But this took me from about two bars inside to five bars. Much, much stronger connection. A better signal. Okay, where are we going to next? We are off to Oregon, all the way to the west to for the Red, in Redmond, Oregon for the Family Motor Coach Association, FMCA, International Convention. We'll be teaching eight seminars there. Wow, we're going to be busy. <laughs> yeah, and we have a new one. It's just our story. We call it an internet love story. Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> That's going to be fun. But if you can't be there with us, one of our seminars, the Picasso Seminar, is going to be broadcast live from the seminar room in Redmond. So mark your calendars for August 11. The times will be posted here on our website and we'll let you know. But you have to watch it live because they're not going to record it. I hope you all tune in. And until then, thanks for watching. See you online. Bye. Bye.